Right. Good morning, everyone. Um, at my institution, we have something called a coding discussion group, which aims to bring together anyone who writes research software uh, and help develop their software engineering skills. This group is currently at the contribute stage of the CSCCE community participation model, if you're familiar with it. Uh, basically, com community members give a slide presentation to the group at our meetings, um, but this is done in really a completely independent manner which is good for some degree of knowledge transfer, but as we know, writing software is a very collaborative and practical activity. So this community is, is limited at the moment in how much it can support the development of its members. We wanna to get to the collaborate phase where community members are interacting amongst themselves and learning collectively from these interactions. And I think that uh, coding dojos could help us do this. As the, the quote on my slide says, a, a coding dojo is a meeting where a bunch of coders get together, code, learn, and have fun. It's got to be a winning formula. Sounds great. So the key features of, of a coding dojo is that there's a, a retrospective meeting uh, at the beginning of the, the previous session, and then the problem to be solved is introduced. Uh, Test-driven development is, emphasizes the approach to be used and coders are encouraged to explain their work verbally as they go. Uh, and of course, there's, there's a moderator to sort of smooth things over. So in, it, for our group, we're uh, debating basically between two organizing models. Uh, on the bottom left of my slide there, there's the sort of my representation of what I call a jam, where you would have small groups of say three to four people each tackling the same problem. Uh, and they'd probably sort out amongst themselves who would be actually writing up the code. Um, to the right of that, I have what's called the Randuri model, and so that the setup would be to have a larger group of, say, around 10 people um, who would be solving the problem together. Two of the participants would pair program while the rest observe, and the groups would rotate through the pair programming roles. Uh, so this is really not, it's not a new concept, but it's new to our community. So at the moment, really, I'm looking for uh, input, really, from the research software community uh, to see if anyone has experience with events like this, uh, and, and if so, what, what worked, what didn't when, when you were running them? Uh, are there any currently active groups that, that are doing something similar to this? Um, and if you have answers to these, or even if it just sounds interesting to you, please really do get in touch using my details there, and I've also popped them into the shared document slide. Thank you. <laughs>